this is a theoretical subject so we have to make it in a manner that everyone is excited to learn about this subject so basically uh, the subject human computer interaction as you uh, as everyone know that this subject is related to the interaction of humans towards the computer so anyone anyone of you has ever studied about this subject anything or anything that comes in your mind related to this subject that human computer interaction when i say this word anything that comes in your mind welcome sir wa alaikum salam uh, sir i have no idea about this so kindly explain it okay okay so none of you have any idea okay basically uh this is like when humans came to make technologies in this world this subject is all about that that you in this subject i will teach you how scientists made computers more interactive and user friendly for us to use if it was really hard to use a computer or laptop or a mobile then no one can use these types of things so in this subject there are some rules some laws some prototypes and many other things regarding how according to that rules they made uh, uh, computers in an interactive and user friendly way the first computer anyone who knows about the first computer which was the first computer yes yes abacus so anyone else have heard about abacus or used abacus abacus uh, centuries ago men used to count things a man made someone made this abacus abacus himself made a machine what happened centuries ago there was no computer okay basically there were issues in counting things so a man made a computer this was the first computer which he made his name was abacus and they gave the name abacus to this calculating machine they used to calculate things from this machine okay so basically abacus was made and they used this for counting now everyone did not use this for counting there were some people who used to do accounting in that times they used these things to count and calculate things okay before this what happened in basically in this subjects subject i will tell you how men have evolved and made computer in a interactive manner user friendly manner so that we can use it easily basically before time there were issues in counting things and we did not know what were numbers before abacus before abacus people did not know what were numbers then they started uh, uh, the chinese and other nations the romans the greeks they made uh, they sat down and they saw their fingers that there are 10 fingers in our hand so they made a rule that we will have 10 number but they counted this like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay this were how, this was how numbers were written but how after 10 how they would write they were 11 12 13 14 and it was really hard to write and write and write i have uh, uh, one uh, apple two apple three apple four apple they used to write like this and calculated everything like this basically 10 was the basic rule that there are 10 fingers in our hand so 10 fingers are the law, uh, rules 
about counting they made a rule for counting but they did not wrote like this 1 2 3 after that some time it changed and we wrote numbers like this so from this they came to other numbers the roman numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 it went on like this and from this it evolved to this number 4 five, 5 6 7 8 9 okay so everyone can understand this basically i am explaining how everything evolved and computer came into being from this counting started from here counting started and number started people used to write everything like this and from there it evolved to romans evolved and wrote the numbers like this. because why why did they write numbers like this can anyone tell me sir because because uh, it's easy easy for using yeah because they it was easy when they read they knew this was 4 this is 5 and from and here they could not understand which is 4 which is 5 they you they have to count from the starting so what they did they wrote it like this but this was also very, really hard basically i am explaining how computer came into being first there were no computers everything evolved evolved and changed and computer came into being everything that we are using now the internet the computer the mobile phones everything there these things were experimented before and they were used by the scientists or any uh, uh, any related person to army i will explain about the networking also how networking the american and the russian they used in the war it was not used by any other human beings then now everyone is using internet before that no one used to it evolved from here to the romans wrote it like this then people came and wrote this number like this but the confusion still remains the counting part so what happened that a person came and wrote hand and made a machine named abacus for counting this was the first computer that counted things in that time and it was no it was only used by specific person which used to handle accounts only not by everyone now in 2022 everyone now you people have joined uh, the lecture from zoom online you people know how everyone is using the mobile phones these mobile phones are also computers okay and we uh, installed zoom app in this and uh, we participated in a lecture but at that time when abacus machine was uh, introduced specific person used to count uh, manage their accounts in a shop in some other uh, shops for accounting for counting the things these things evolved and again another everyone knows about charles babbage yeah this is the man charles babbage who made this machine can you see this machine yes sir you can so see yeah so this was made in the 18th century this machine was also made for this machine was also can you see this page new share okay share okay the babbage engine yes, sir, it's visible yeah the babbage engine this uh, charles babbage made this machine this was also used for uh, resolving some mathematical problems charles babbage in that uh, as you can see the first computer which made in uh, 153 years ago with 8000 uh, parts uh, which weight was uh, whose weight was 5 tons and it was 11 feet long this was also a computer 
एंड इट वॉज नॉट मैकेनिकल इट वॉज नॉट लाइक कंप्यूटर विच वी यूज नाउ इट इज इट वॉज अ मैकेनिकल कंप्यूटर विच यूज टू वर्क इफ आई कैन शो यू इन अ वीडियो सो दिस वॉज यूज टू सॉल्व सम मैथमेटिकल प्रॉब्लम दिस वॉज ऑल्सो अ कंप्यूटर बट अ मैकेनिकल कंप्यूटर बट नॉट एवरी पर्सन यूज to use this computer so scientist and uh, there are some international standard organization they sat down and made a computer for office and other things so why not we use computer not only for calculating for other things before that they did not knew <clears throat> that we can use these computers in other things computer were were way faster there came uh, more other scientists that changed the world from this machine they turned they uh, they turned everything to the modern computers okay okay so from charles babbage when he made this computer everything changed now also this computer is kept in the london uh, museum so after that from 1871 computer evolved more and more as i can show you in because our subject is related to human computer interaction in this subject everything is about how the computer evolution took place how did it came to the place now as you can see in the screen can everyone see the computers in the screen evolution of the computer yes sir from the computer started evolving from here uh, some of you have also seen big uh, a picture uh, 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 related to computer big hard disk ram and everything that is uh, they are taking out of a container or truck and putting it inside a room do you know that have everyone seen the computers no sir these were the first computers they used to take these computers in a truck in a container and fit in a office to uh, do mathematical uh, solutions or any other thing there was also a machine named turing machine okay basically what happened uh, uh, a story about this that when they made a computer the computer were very big like these big big computers in a room there were computer which were installed in the room these are the first computers they used to take in the containers and installed in the offices now computers are getting smaller and smaller we can take uh, we can carry uh, so one person can also pick a computer a system box okay everyone has a laptop and computer basically what happened when they installed a computer in a room if you uh, everyone knows about virus yes sir everyone knows about viruses yeah everyone has heard about viruses also yes sir i know about virus yeah so how did this name came virus or bug do you know that faran no sir so what happened when these big types of computers they were installed in a room a big room as you can see the screen is shared these were the computers at that time what happened that when they were working and uh, solving their mathematical problems one day uh, slowly and gradually their computer tend to become slow and slow and slow so these scientists they looked and uh, the engineers everyone they said and looked in every part and they said why was this computer tending to become slow and slow every day they realized and they looked in the hardware part and they saw something a bug in a bugs not a single bug but bugs inside the computer a living bug so this was how this name virus and bug evolved because 
way before the computers were really big okay the computers were really big the bugs used to come uh, go inside this computer because it was open it was not closed and they used to live inside that parts so this computer became slow and slow and slow and this is how the uh, scientist named the name after this viruses and bugs everything has a story behind if uh, can everyone understand uh, what i am uh, saying yes sir uh, yes sir okay so where were we about this computers so these computers evolved like this and uh, i will show you another thing how wh what is the main focus of human computer interaction subject uh, everyone uh, every student here is uh, the student of it uh, do you know unix machines about unix machines no sir okay basically when computer first came uh, to the people when uh, they used computer was not a graphical uh, in a graphical user interface there are two types of uh, interfaces graphical user interface and command line interface as you can see my cursor moving and the picture it is hovering on the hovering on the pictures can you see everyone can see this yeah when i uh, go and touch some part of the picture it it changes its color this is this interface which we are using this is graphical user interface gui have you heard this boy uh, this word gui graphical user interface uh, yes sir before i heard about it yeah this uh, this type of computer came into being after uh, command line interface so i will show you uh, everyone here i think have seen command line interface but i will show it again now can everyone see this yes sir yes sir i can see this yes sir can see this is the type of command line interface okay before when computers started uh, in the offices and other things the computer were like this black and white everything was like this in a uh, command line interface people used to work in a command line interface make file in command line interface write thing in command now also in when you go in the banks there are uh, servers installed uh, linux and unix servers they only work on command line interface because it is really hard to work on this type of command line interface because you have to know the commands everyone has to know what are the commands and go to other drive or save a file or create a folder in a file how to delete the file everything in that uh, everything worked in this way before then these laws which we will study in this subject human computer interaction there they uh, all they you they said that we will make computers and laptops or smartphones everything that they are the part of computers okay they all said that we will make computers in a type that it will be a user friendly computer if computer were like this use the command line interface in this uh, manner no one will use computers no one will play games in the computer how will you play games in the computer how will you work how will you watch movie how will you join your class so the scientists they evolved they made the computers evolved and evolved and evolved and the computers came now which we the computers which we are using they are so fast all of this was because because of the scientists that they, they worked on uh, these things we will all study the things uh, about this in human computer interaction 
everything will go round and round uh, this part that how did uh, the computer evolved and what were the laws or what were the rules which changed everything okay yes sir so basically uh, you cannot say that uh, this command line interface it is just a waste it is also really uh, important for computer science student to learn command line interface because if uh, uh, someone is uh, someone uh, is hacking into your computer they will not see anything in a manner like this in a gui uh, interface in graphical user interface they will all see in a command line interface they you they have to know the commands they have to know the directories the folders the files how to enter the files how to see the file how to take permission of the files so these are the part of uh, cyber security experts they go and they study these things so the computers evolved like this and uh, uh, as your uh, what i can say your uh, subject course outline as you can see it also shows that how understand principle of human computer interaction evaluate principle of human computer critique interface design using uh, principle of everything is uh, revolving around the principles and laws so this subject as you can see nelson heuristics law and uh, there are complex interfaces design universal user interface uh, norman's theory high hemans response selection law fates law everything is just about theory so what is basically human computer interaction so basically so today class was basically around the uh, name of the subject human computer interaction and uh, from the next class we will all uh, study and learn about the principles and understand the principle in a manner that nobody will uh, forget about this today i uh, showed you some uh links uh, bakas pictures charles babbage computers pictures which he made a mechanical machine to solve some mathematical formulas or mathematical calculations before uh, time, before when computer were not uh, introduced people used to solve mathematical problems from these computers and time came and scientists told that when we can you uh solve big mathematical formulas from this single uh, mechanical computer why can't we predict the weather why can't we make other type of computers okay so basically human computer interaction is about how an human gets uh, interacted with a computer in a more uh, user friendly way if the computer were not in a user friendly manner no one would use these computers okay can everybody understand about this yes sir i got it uh, any questions regarding this or any qu question regarding the lecture no sir it's clear